Hey, Absumo. Hope you're doing well. Dawn from Be Human here. So there's been a lot of questions about the difference between basic face cloning and advanced face cloning. So I figured, let me make you a video and walk you through it. So first of all, to lay some groundwork, what are we talking about, right? Well, basically when you clone yourself on Be Human and you, you know, want to generate personalized videos, we of course need to clone your face um, in order to change the way that your face and particularly your lips are moving in order to make you say, instead of high name, make you say, hey, John, or hey, Stacy, or whatever, right? And in order to do that, our AI is basically learning your face, looking at how you talk, how you speak in order to make you say you know, these new things. Now, basically where the difference comes in, in terms of our process between basic and advanced face cloning is in the basic face cloning, our AI looks at your face for only a couple of seconds, and then it then generates the video. In the advanced face cloning, our AI is actually doing what's called training on your face. So it's looking at your face, but it's also trying to improve how it performs based on your face. So it'll, for example, try to make you say, as an example, it'll try to make you say Apple, right? And then it'll look at how you actually say Apple from the actual video you submitted to the platform. And then it'll try to compare and learn any of that. So in doing so, it's more accustomed to your face and it's more familiar with your face. So it, in theory, should work better on your face in the future after it's done the training on it. So that's what the advanced face cloning includes. This all is done automatically. You don't have to worry about, you know, going to any part of the platform. This always, this already happens automatically for uh, users who are on the tier five. Um, now to give you some context, um, Right now, the AI model we have in place, there is a difference, but it's it's rather slight. I've generated some examples for you that I'll show in a second. Um, we're pushing out a new face cloning update in the next probably about two weeks. Um, and it's unclear whether the difference will be slight or dramatic. Um, we just don't know yet until it's it's out and live and, and we can retest it. Um, so take that for what it's worth. But what I'll do right now is I'll show you um, what's currently in the platform so you can judge that for yourself and decide if it's worth it to head up to tier five for that or stay where you are. So with that said, let me share my screen and I'll show you some examples. All right, so let's start with an example of the basic face cloning. So I'll just zoom into my face here so you can see as much as possible. Of course, when people watch this video, they're not zoomed in like this, they're not staring at the mouth like this, but you know, just for the sake of illustrating the difference, I'll go ahead and play this back. This is the basic face cloning. Hey, Philip, how's it going? Don from Be Human here. So, okay, so that's the basic face cloning and now, Let's show you the advanced face cloning. Hey, Mahesh. How's it going? Don from Be Human here. So, okay, so you may have noticed the pronunciation, hey, the mouth movements, um, they're slightly more accurate with the advanced version. Although, to be frank, I don't think anyone would really notice if I had used the basic one. I don't think there would be any difference in terms of, you know, being live and actually, you know, using the product. So, Currently, that's, the difference is quite slight. Um, but, you know, if you're someone and you want as perfect quality as possible, then, you know, advanced is definitely going to give you better quality than basic because the AI is becoming more familiar with your face. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them in the chat. And I look forward to seeing you all on the platform. Take care.